Have you ever read something that felt choppy and disconnected, like someone stitched together random paragraphs without any flow? That's what happens when we neglect section introductions. They are the bridges between our thoughts, guiding the reader smoothly from one idea to the next. Imagine reading a mystery novel. Each chapter begins with a hook, pulling you deeper into the plot. That's what a good section intro does. It creates anticipation making the reader eager to delve into what comes next. Without these carefully crafted transitions, your writing risks becoming a jumbled mess, leaving your reader confused and disengaged. So how do we avoid this? By mastering the art of the section intro? In the following sections, we'll explore various techniques to captivate your audience and keep them hooked from beginning to end. Remember that question from the previous section? The one that made you pause and think for a moment. You know, the one about your struggles with transitions. Well, you're not alone. Many writers face this exact challenge. Many writers find it challenging to smoothly guide readers through their work. It's a common hurdle, but one that can be overcome with the right techniques. One effective technique is to start with a compelling question. This can immediately engage your reader's curiosity. Think of it as a gentle nudge, prompting your reader to ponder the upcoming topic. It sets the stage for deeper engagement. Another approach is to use a brief anecdote or a startling statistic. These can provide context and grab attention right away. These attention-grabbing elements can pique the reader's interest and make them eager to learn more. They act as hooks that draw readers in. Don't underestimate the power of a bold statement or a provocative opinion. These can be very effective in capturing attention. These can spark curiosity and encourage your reader to see things from a fresh perspective. They challenge the reader to think differently. The key is to choose a technique that aligns with your writing style and the overall tone of your piece. Consistency is crucial for maintaining reader interest. Now, let's shift gears and delve deeper into these techniques. We'll explore some concrete examples of these techniques in action. Seeing them applied can provide clarity and inspiration. Are you ready to see how it's done? Let's dive in and discover the magic of intriguing intros together. You bet you're ready for examples. Let's dive into some practical and engaging ways to start your sections. Seeing these techniques in action is like watching a master chef at work, inspiring and illuminating, just as a chef carefully selects ingredients to create a masterpiece. You can craft your section intros to captivate your readers. Let's say you're writing an essay about the importance of sleep. This topic is crucial for everyone, yet often overlooked. Instead of diving straight into the science, you could start a section with a question like this. Ever feel like your brain is running on fumes after a poor night's sleep? This question immediately draws in readers by tapping into a common experience. This instantly resonates with readers who've experienced the grogginess of sleep deprivation. It makes them think about their own experiences and prepares them for the information you're about to present. Now, imagine you're transitioning into a section about the benefits of mindfulness. This is a topic that can greatly benefit from a strong, relatable introduction. You could begin with a statement like this. In today's fast-paced world, finding peace can feel like searching for a rare gem. This metaphor not only captures attention, but also sets a vivid scene. This sets the stage for exploring mindfulness as a valuable tool for navigating the chaos of modern life. It helps readers understand the significance of the topic in a relatable way. By using these techniques, you create a more engaging and immersive reading experience. Your readers will feel more connected to the material and more motivated to continue reading. But how do you ensure these intros seamlessly connect to the rest of your writing? It's all about maintaining a consistent tone and flow throughout your sections. Let's delve into that in the next section. Stay tuned to learn how to weave these engaging intros into a cohesive narrative. Remember those intriguing questions we talked about earlier? Well, they're not just for introductions. Sprinkling questions throughout your writing can be incredibly powerful for engaging your reader and encouraging them to actively participate in the conversation. Think of a question as a mental speed bump. It makes the reader pause, reflect, and formulate their own thoughts before moving on. This not only enhances comprehension, but also deepens their connection to your words. But here's the catch. Not all questions are created equal. To truly captivate your audience, 
you need to ask the right questions at the right time. Intrigued? In the next section, we'll unravel the secrets to crafting questions that resonate. So tell me, what's one question you have about writing effective questions in your own work? Section 5. Answer, unveiling the potential of a well-placed question. You asked about crafting effective questions and your right to be curious. The art of asking the right questions is crucial for engaging your reader. The key is to ask open-ended questions that spark curiosity and invite further exploration. Avoid questions with simple yes or no answers. Instead, aim for questions that prompt reflection and encourage the reader to consider different perspectives. For instance, instead of asking, is climate change a serious problem? Try something like, what steps can individuals take to mitigate the effects of climate change? See the difference? By posing thought-provoking questions, you transform your writing from a passive monologue into an active dialogue with your reader. Now, how can we use section intros to further enhance this sense of flow and engagement? Let's explore this in the next section. Section 6. Transitioning smoothly, using intros to guide the reader. Remember that feeling of getting lost in a new city without a map? That's how readers feel when you don't provide clear transitions between sections. Section intros. Act as signposts, guiding your reader through the intricate pathways of your thoughts. Think of each section intro as a mini bridge connecting the previous idea to the next. You can achieve this by summarizing the key takeaway from the previous section and then introducing the main focus of the upcoming one. For example, you could write, now that we've explored the historical context, let's delve into the contemporary implications of this issue. See how that smoothly guides the reader, preventing them from feeling lost or disoriented? But how do you keep these transitions from becoming repetitive and predictable? Let's uncover the secrets to variety and creativity in the next section. Section 7. Variety is key different strokes for different sections. You're right to crave variety. Using the same type of section intro repeatedly can make your writing feel formulaic and dull. Just like a good meal needs a balance of flavors, your writing benefits from a mix of intro styles. One section might start with a thought-provoking question, while the next could begin with a captivating anecdote. You can also experiment with using quotes, statistics, or even a touch of humor to keep your reader engaged. The key is to choose an intro style that aligns with the content and tone of each specific section. Don't be afraid to get creative and think outside the box. But how do you know if your section intros are truly hitting the mark? That's where reader engagement comes in. Let's explore this vital aspect in the next section. Section 8. Reader Engagement. Sparking Conversation and Thought. Remember, the ultimate goal of writing is to connect with your reader, to spark a conversation, to make them think, feel, and react. It's about creating a bridge between your thoughts and theirs, a shared space where ideas can flourish and grow. And guess what plays a crucial role in achieving this? You got it, engaging section intros. These intros are the first impression, the hook that draws your reader in and makes them want to stay. When you craft intros that pique curiosity, invite reflection, and offer a glimpse into the heart of each section, you create an irresistible pull that keeps your reader hooked. It's like setting the stage for a captivating performance. It's like leaving a trail of breadcrumbs, leading them deeper into the forest of your words. Each breadcrumb is a promise of more to come, a hint of the journey ahead, but it doesn't end there. The journey continues beyond the pages. Encourage your readers to actively participate by asking for their thoughts, experiences, and perspectives in the comments. This interaction is where the magic happens, where your words come to life through their engagement. This transforms your writing from a one-sided monologue into a dynamic conversation, fostering a sense of community and shared learning. It's about building connections and creating a space where everyone feels heard and valued. So how do we bring all these elements together to create a cohesive and engaging piece? It's a blend of thoughtful intros, engaging content, and active reader participation. Let's find out in the next section. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the art of reader engagement and the techniques that make it all possible. Section 9. Putting it all together. Crafting a cohesive and engaging piece. Remember, writing is like putting together a puzzle. Each section is a piece, 
and the intros are the connecting edges that hold everything together. By mastering the art of section intros, you create a seamless flow of ideas, guiding your reader effortlessly from one point to the next. Your writing becomes a joy to read, a journey of discovery that keeps them captivated until the very last word. So, as you embark on your next writing adventure, remember the power of those seemingly small transitions. They are the secret sauce that can elevate your writing from good to extraordinary. Now, are you ready to embrace the power of section intros and unleash your full writing potential? Section 10. Your turn. Embrace the power of section intros. There you have it. A whirlwind tour of the art of crafting compelling section intros. Remember, the key is to experiment, to find what resonates with your voice and your audience. Don't be afraid to try different techniques, to play with language, and to have fun with it. Now, it's your turn. Go forth and write with passion, with purpose, and with those captivating section intros that will leave your readers spellbound. I can't wait to see what you create.